rolling out people rolling out some coffee you got a coffee you better get some coffee oh yeah coffee all right let's get this day started parking lot oh man I think we did it Annoying man. 
Wow. Now I know why the kids can't sleep back there. <laughs> Damn. That's all right. We'll figure it out today. Hopefully. Let's get down the road a little bit, then we'll, uh, I don't even know what's going on right now. Where were we? We left Egan, Petro, and we're still on the way to uh, New Braunfels, Texas. Deliver at the Walmart, our second second stop. Final stop, actually. Then we got this other load, but I ain't gonna talk about that one yet. This is gonna be interesting. <clears throat> we'll talk about that one when we know we're on the way to get it. But, uh, yeah, we'll stop over like Bernardo or somewhere in Houston, possibly. Run there somewhere. Like I said, 360 miles today, so we ain't gonna be no big rush. We'll be done, shoot, by noon today, so. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Run over Lake Charles. It's the perfect time to be going up this bridge. Woo. Here we get to the top of this bridge. Heavy traffic. Oh yeah. You usually get about you know all this heavy traffic, and you get about to about uh, right here somewhere, and traffic stops. And then the top of the bridge is just slightly swaying. <laughs> get me down. Got a bunch of oil refineries and stuff over there, probably. I'm just guessing. What? Listening to the Friday night Pale Rider BS session. I know, I know, I missed it. Had to get up early. Had to get up early trucking.
Yeah, crazy, crazy story, man. Last night we we stayed at that Petro there in Egan. Yeah, I you crashed out early. Missed the Pale Rider BS session. Had to get up early, so. But uh, sleeping. I was sleeping for a couple hours already. And all of a sudden, the truck is just like rocked, man. I was like, I woke up, you know. I was like, oh my gosh, it's like someone hit the truck. God, man. Woo! Some big old bumps here. Man, I, I thought for sure someone hit the truck. It was like, I jumped up. Man, it was like pouring down rain, thunder and lightning and wind and the truck is shaking. And I was like, oh man. So, well, that's good. <laughs> At least nobody hit the truck. There wasn't even anybody around me. Just, I guess it was just a big gust of wind or something, man. Man, but it, man, it felt like it really felt like someone hit the truck. Cause I, uh, I know what that feels like, unfortunately. That was a good thing to see that rain. I was like, all right, rain, good stuff. All I've been doing is driving in rain for like a couple days. I'm glad I didn't get the truck washed. That was gonna that was on the list of stuff to do the other day. And I just changed my mind. Usually I get hit with bugs through Louisiana. I'm like, you know what? I think I'll pass on that. Getting it washed. And I'm glad I did because it just rained the whole time. And it rained like again last night. down the road here I, I still need to get it I, it needs a good wash it really needs a good wash so if I knew exactly where like parts of Texas has those like self-service truck wash bays you know you can just pull right in if I knew exactly where it was at we're gonna keep an eye for we're gonna keep an eye on it for it. So I'll be coming back this way come Sunday. Maybe we can just cruise on in there Sunday and give it a good spray down. I don't need a I don't need a thorough thorough scrub down. I just I just I, I just want to wash up top, man. We're gonna keep an eye on that today. We'll write down the exit so we're coming back by. Wash the truck. Hopefully. <laughs> if it's even on I-10, I don't even know where it's at. It could be over on 20 somewhere. Shoot, man. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not coming this way. I may be. I'll worry about that later. Alright. I think we got out of all that construction crap. Alright. Cruising along. Back to 65. But we'll catch up here. Maybe from the Bernardo. Maybe we'll just check in at the end of the day. 280 miles. At the TA in New Braunfels.